currently have zero tan on for the first time. That's what you need when you've got COVID. I am so pale and gross. You've got a cocktail as well. 70% off sale. This is probably my favorite outfit I've put together. What a fluffy little wholesome girl. Huh. The grind never stops. Hello everyone. I am back. You girl had a little temporary break. Wasn't planned. Had COVID, didn't I? It finally got me. I honestly felt like the biggest loser. Like, who's getting COVID in June 2022? Two years late. Actually, to be fair, saying that, lots of people have got it at the minute. I've heard it's absolutely rife. Little birdie told me. Um, so yeah, if you've had it recently, so soz. I definitely think more people have had it now than haven't. So kind of glad to be part of the cool kids, you know? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You can probably hear in my voice, I'm still not 100%. I'd say I'm like 90%. I'm negative now. I've been negative since almost a week so yeah i'm feeling much better the tiredness is still getting me a little bit but that's pretty normal for me before i had covid sunny kept me company the whole time yeah you did oh look at her little face i just can't cope she's so tiny i felt really rough with covid for two days i would say and then i started to improve from then on now i'm just a little bit nasally and tired but we move welcome back how are you all doing Anything exciting happened over these past two weeks? Let me know in the comments down below if it has. I went clay pigeon shooting last Saturday as well. Thank goodness I was negative by the time that rolled around because that was for my brother's fiance's hen do. We went clay pigeon shooting, put a couple of pictures in here. I was horrific when we first started and then I gave myself the title of best improved because I was actually all right here by the end. But that was really good fun. So new week, it's Tuesday now. I'm about to have some lunch and I'm happy to be back vlogging. I missed it, two weeks off. That's the longest I've gone for a while, if ever. Sonny, the people have missed you. What you been up to? Made any friends? <laughs> what you been doing in your free time? She said, I've been chasing cats, barking and giving Hanny cuddles while she's been poorly. And that's about it really. Bye. This is the lunch of someone who truly cannot be bothered. Just pesto and pasta and a little bit of cheese on top. I'm up at the office. I've just packed the orders for the day. They're all down here. I'm about to pop to the post office on my way home. But this is the new collection, right? I say new. This was like the spring collection. So my most recent one. The plan was always to have the boxes up here for the launch because that first week is normally really busy. That was in May. And they're still here because... I'm a one man band and I've got to take all these boxes downstairs. To be fair, a lot of them luckily aren't that full anymore, but it's still going to be a big job. I'm going to have to do it bit by bit and I'm absolutely dreading it. So I've been putting it off and putting it off, but it will be quite nice to have them out of the way up here. And I also have a new product arriving very soon, so I need to make room for that up here instead. <sighs> The grind never stops. While I had COVID, I updated my little sales maps. I just bought these as digital downloads on Etsy. Um, it was like three pounds and then printed them myself. And then you color in the postcode when you get a sale in that place. And look at the UK. To be fair, this was an accident. I was watching, what was I watching as I did this? I was watching a podcast, I think probably the Saving Grace podcast. I got distracted and I coloured it in by accident. So this part is a lie, ignore that. But other than that, almost every postcode in the UK has a Sunnyside product. How mad is that? This is the American one and this is the world. Quite a lot of that empty for right now, but we've got to aim for something, you know? Excuse the fact I haven't brushed my hair yet, but public service announcement, I'm sure lots of you already know this, but the website Thoughtful, they sell like cards, I don't know if they do anything else actually, but I buy my cards from there. And they have an offer where you buy four cards for £10, which is actually such a good deal. And there's so many to choose from. I've got two friends' birthdays this month, Chelsea and Leanne. So for Chelsea, I got this card. Happy birthday to my fab friend and cheapest therapist. And for Leanne, I got this. You're the Pam to my dawn. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And then I got a card for my friend's little boy and my dad's Father's Day card. I ordered at the same time for a tenner, which is so good. And I love that the cards are so personalised, like this one. You're not finding that in the card factory, are you? I just ate another huge bowl of pesto pasta and I have no regrets whatsoever. And I'm going out for dinner tonight and I'm very excited about that. I'm actually going to a Mexican restaurant tonight. I don't think I've ever been to a Mexican restaurant. Don't quote me on that, but I don't think I have. Obviously, I've had Mexican food, but always like takeaways 
or like fast food. But yeah, going to a Mexican restaurant with my best friend Leanne. And it's actually to celebrate her birthday. Her birthday was last month, but I had COVID during her birthday. So we're going out tonight instead. I've got her present here. I haven't wrapped it up yet because I was too poorly. And I didn't want to touch it when I was positive either. But I ordered these ages ago. She mentioned recently to me that she wants to do her own gel nails. But she didn't like really know where to start. So I have got her a complete starter kit. And I get a lot of questions about mine. So I thought I'd quickly run through what I've bought for her. Because this is literally everything you need. I'll link all this stuff in the description down below. But I've got it all here in a box. And I'm going to wrap it all up. So the main thing is the gel nail lamp. I got her the same one that I use. All of this stuff is the same as I use. This is the Sun UV. LED nail lamp then you need this little trio so you get a prep and wipe liquid and also a remover for when you take your gel nails off you use the prep and wipe before you start the painting and then after the top coat you put it on again and also the lint free wipes then for the prep side of it I got her this little pack I haven't actually got this but the main reason I bought her this is because you see this little thing here, that's for pushing your cuticles back and that is so essential when you're doing your gel nails. And it's got files, buffers, literally everything. I thought this was such a good little set. And then for the actual nail polish, I got her a base and a top coat. And then I got her two different colours to start with. So I got her a purple and a pink. The purple is in the shade Lia, L-I-A. And this one is Peach Nude. And the last thing I got her for when she's taking them off are these little nail clips. So... You just soak a lint free wipe with the remover, put it on your nail and clip these onto it. And that is everything she needs to get started with her gel nails. Your gal is ready four minutes early as well. Look at me go. Do you know what I think it is? It's the no fake tan life. I haven't actually addressed this in this vlog yet, but I'm gonna talk about it tomorrow. But this is my first like, dressing up a little bit, feeling nice and going out for a meal with no fake tan on and I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel like my most confident, but I don't feel as bad as I thought I would. Usually, in my old mindset, I'd have been like, I am so pale and gross, I need to fake tan before I go out for dinner. More on that tomorrow. For right now, we're gonna enjoy the Mexican, little midweek Mexican with my bestie. And I'm so excited to give her presents as well. I'm gonna go around a little bit early and give her those. So we're in the Mexican. Look how good this looks. It does look so good. The food's just arrived, this is the main. Leanne's gone for tacos, which- I'm actually- this smells incredible. Oh, and give us a rundown of what you got. Okay, I've got chicken. Chicken. Lamb. Lamb. And then these are beef. Because I couldn't decide on the fourth one. I was under too much pressure. It's good that you get a variety though. You can choose the meats. I've gone for beef quesadillas with sweet corn salsa. Very excited. And then we're thinking churros for dessert. Oh, 100%. 100%. You've got a cocktail as well. What's yes. your cocktail? Tequila sunrise. Tequila sunrise. It's really nice actually. Is it? Yeah. Oh, good. I don't think I've ever tried tequila, you know. Is it right? I've never had it like as a shot. No, I haven't. But this is nice. Nice. Right, let's tuck in. Please ignore how I look today. I am not thriving mentally, physically, or visually. I plan to vlog a lot more than I have today, but my brain is just not there. <laughs> Don't know what I was gonna say, but I am gonna get some work done. And one of the jobs I need to do is counting some new stock for Sunnyside. Very exciting. Got some new blankets coming. I have two new blanket designs that arrived this week. One of them is vintage bloom i absolutely love this it's this gorgeous like gold color on the other side it's so so soft where's my little sunny side logo here she is adorable i actually love them so much but i need to count them all fold them all up and tie them with ribbon because i like my blankets to arrive for the customer looking like this i just think it looks adorable and i like to make my own life difficult so i'm about to ribbon wrap many many blankets but i thought we'd make a nice little time lapse and then when i finished they go in these tubs i buy these from the range they're about 8.99 each but they're so handy they stack on top of each other as well and they have so many different sizes in the range so whether you've got a small business or you just need a storage solution for like undie bed or something these tubs from the range chef's kiss let's get folding tying boxing and we're catching up on last night's love island while i do this by the time you see this vlog this will be old news but casa amor great tv but the boys are letting me down this year men are truly trash oh i will open up my eyes so i can see the light oh and i'll try to spread my wings so i can fly oh and the darkness starts to fade feels like things are gonna go my way
Ooh. We found a fun game with the end of the ribbon. You ready? Go! Go! Why are you scared now? You were playing with it. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's chasing you. Meow! <laughs> Get it then. Wait a minute. Paul? Good girl, go on then. Morning, everyone. It is a scorcher today. I think it's like 29 degrees in Essex. Anyway, I'm in the car park. I've just been to Asda because my boyfriend's got COVID and he put together a care package for me when I had COVID and dropped it round. So I'm going to return the favour because honestly, it was a lifesaver when he did that. And I thought I would show you what I got in my COVID care package for him. First things first, an energised smoothie because he has no energy. Got him a meal deal, obviously. I got him, I was going to get a warm pasta because it's nice on your throat when you're not well, but it's really hot today. So I got a spicy chicken pasta in instead these chicken things he loves these i think and his fave drink a ribena then i got a packet of ultra soft tissues a nasal inhaler stick this was a lifesaver when i had covid i got these from the chemist some extra strong strep seals and last but not least we spoke about donuts this morning so i got some crispy cream donuts because my local asda has got a crispy cream vendor thingy now and i'm very excited about that and that is i think everything you need to keep him going but it is boiling in this car so i'm gonna go and drop it around obviously not gonna go in just gonna like leave it on the doorstep and leave him to it but that's what you need when you've got covid so let's go hello hello i just realized from the previous clips it might look like i gave my boyfriend covid i definitely didn't i actually haven't seen him properly since before i was positive obviously he dropped my care package around but he was outside for two minutes so i didn't give it to him then i was negative and then he went to an event in london for two days and he caught it there it's just really unlucky that we've both got it in the space of 30 days but at different times um anyway just thought i'd clear that up in case anyone's like oh my god she saw her boyfriend when she was positive i didn't didn't see anyone apart from Sunny. <laughs> but anyway, I realised I haven't actually sat down and spoke to you about why I've stopped fake tanning yet. Currently have zero tan on for the first time in months, maybe even years, which is bizarre for me. I fake tanned religiously every single week for years. For me, fake tan was more than just looking tanned. It was like my confidence in a bottle. And I know that sounds really dramatic, but if you fake tan, you might understand where I'm coming from. I just felt more myself. And then I kind of convinced in my brain that when I wasn't fake tanned, I looked gross, which is so stupid. Such a ridiculous thing to think. But yeah, I did it every single week, usually on like a Thursday or a Sunday before Monday. I put my tan on and then by the end of that week it was kind of like fading so I'd scrub off what I needed to and reapply it sometimes I'd just go over the top of the old tan so it's just like a constant cycle I don't think it ever got to the point where I had no tan on I'd always have a little bit left on me but when I had COVID I was like Do you know what this is a good time to start fresh every time I had a shower or a bath I was exfoliating my old tan off and I'm finally at the point now where I have nothing left so this is just the colour of my skin. And my whole mindset changed because of this one TikTok I saw, which is crazy how TikTok can have that kind of impact on you. But it was a TikTok from a girl who had also quit fake tan. I'll leave her TikTok in the description down below because if you're in the same position, maybe it will change your mindset too. Not that there's anything wrong with fake tanning. I just think for me, it had gotten to an obsession. Like it was an addiction to fake tan, which again, sounds really dramatic, but it's not. And after seeing her TikToks, I was like, Do you know what? I want to enjoy life without having to worry about my fake tan schedule and putting plans off because I haven't tanned or making sure I have tanned before every single social plan I ever had. It just kind of hit me that like the main fake tan demographic is young girls, like girls like my age. I feel like people in their late 30s, early 40s, they're not fake tanning, they've just embraced it. They've just embraced the natural colour of their skin. And I was like, well, why can't I just do that a bit earlier? <laughs> was basically my mindset. I've always hated being pale. So to be honest, I thought going cold turkey on the tan was really going to mess with my mind and make me feel really down but after realizing that i would literally say to myself i feel so pale and gross is a ridiculous mindset why does pale equal grossness it doesn't it's literally just a skin color after i realized that was ridiculous i haven't found it that difficult i don't look at my hands and my arms now and think oh i look so gross i just think oh it's just this colour of my skin. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't really think too much about it now already. And that's been like in the space of a couple of weeks. Although saying that, I haven't been to a lot of social events. And this girl I follow on TikTok, she was like, going cold turkey won't be good for everyone. She didn't go to cold turkey. 
and she recommended this tan to use which is like it's not like a full-on fake tan it's not a mousse and she also said it doesn't go to that tiger bread stage it just kind of fades so i decided to get this for when i go to like i don't know barbecues i'll probably use this for my cousin's wedding next week anything where i feel like yeah i could do with a bit more confidence here i'm gonna use this so it's from tanologist and it's the express tan self tan water usually i would always get shade dark in any fake tan and i would leave it on for the maximum amount of time but i've got the medium in this you just spray it on rub it in with a mitt and leave it and then shower after one to four hours so i'm not going to sleep in this overnight i'm going to do what it says on the bottle I don't want it to be too dark where I'm like, it's a massive contrast between this and my normal skin colour because I don't want to go back in my mindset, you know. But a little bit of help, I think won't hurt anyone. And yeah, that's my quitting fake tan story. I think if you've got pale skin, just embrace it. I'm even wearing a white top today and I'm pale. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. <laughs> and guess what? The world hasn't ended. If you've got pale skin and you're struggling to stop the fake tan, this is your sign. Just give it a go. It might not be as hard as you thought it's going to be. So mum and I are just sitting there having lunch and <laughs> we've put telly on for Sunny. So we're watching um, puppies playing with big dogs. And she is actually watching it. Oh, she's really watching. I've never seen her watch this much before. Even like the oh. TV for dogs that I put on sometimes of like yeah. birds and squirrels. She doesn't watch it as much as this. Oh, look at all those puppies, little puppy huskies on the screen. During my time off in my bed, I did a little shop on Misguided because they're 70% off sale. Tell me why my order came to like £160 and then I paid 50 Like, that's insane. I think it's gone up to 50% off now, but I'm not entirely sure. But I thought I would show you what I got. I really needed some more, like, dressy bodysuits for going out and going to things, but not too dressy. Like, the kind of occasion where you could be going to the pub or you could be going out for a nice meal, you know? So that was my vibe. I got a few things. But for £50, this is such a good deal. I got something from Misguided Kids as well. And I've never bought from there before and it's so cute. So to my friend Sophie, if you're watching this, look away now because this is for Alfie's birthday. Um, so I got Alfie, he's four. I got him a little two-piece. They're these little joggers and this little oversized sweatshirt. Stop it. How cute is that? This is age four to five. Can't wait to see him in that. Then for myself, I couldn't resist a pair of joggers. So I did get one pair. They're these green wide leg joggers. They've got zips at the bottom so you can like zip up the ankle. I've still got to try it all on but I'll do it in this video. So yeah, misguided wide leg joggers. I haven't styled the joggers. Can't be bothered to be honest but imagine it with like a tight white crop top instead. A lot cooler vibes than this top. But these are the joggers on. They fit really nicely. I really like that you can unzip them or zip them up. This is what they look like zipped up. And this is unzipped. I personally like them unzipped, I think. Then the first bodysuit I got is this one shoulder slinky bodysuit. I like it a lot. It's got a thong bum, so ultimate wedgie vibes, but that's okay. Looking on the receipt, I can only see the full price, so I don't actually know what I paid for these anymore. But I just know all of this came to £52. So here's the pink bodysuit. It needs an iron again. You can see a bit of crease in here, but it's just because it's been in the bag and stuff. It'll be fine. I've just quickly put it with these black trousers. These are from Stradivarius, honestly. I've just bought them in more colours. I bought them in brown and grey, just because I like the fit of them so much. They're elastic at the back. I'll leave a link to them down below. I know I haven't just bought them, but honestly, for any occasion, I feel like they're going to be perfect. Pair of plain black heels, and I think you could quite easily call this a dressy outfit, or you could put this bodysuit with a pair of blue jeans and go to the pub. The next bodysuit I got is a black one. This one looks really weird, but you'll see what it's like when it's on. It's like a cross neck, halter neck type vibe. This is what this bodysuit looks like on. This is probably my favourite outfit I've put together today, to be honest. I never wear these trousers. I've had them for literally months, but I just feel like I never have the occasion to wear a pair of faux leather trousers you can definitely see the bodysuit and my underwear through them so i'd have to sort that out but they're actually really comfortable i cannot remember for the life of me where they're from which is really unhelpful it was probably asos um, but yeah i really like this bodysuit i love this style of tops that a lot of girls wear that has basically just this bit you know when it like covers their boobs I can't do that. I can't go without a bra. Um, too much going on there. And I also never have that much trust in a top. But this is a really good alternative because it's just a bodysuit and then this bit is just like over the top. Oh, you can see my bra there. Let's fix that. It has the same kind of look though as those tops which I really like. Then I've just got my little bag and I put these sliders on. They're both fake, gonna be honest. I can't remember where this bag is from but it was part of a set. Nice though, isn't she? Lovely stuff. Again, I've had both of these for years. Then I got another black bodysuit. This one is like a satin material but I really like 
the detail of this one. So it's like, as you can see, it's like braided at the top and it sits like that. Really cute. Hopefully it looks nice on, although I think it's going to be a nightmare for creasing. It definitely needs an iron. And I liked the design of this one so much that I also got it in another colour. I got it in this really lovely blue minty colour. You can see the braiding a bit better here on this one. I'm not entirely sure if this is how I would style this bodysuit. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I've put it with these blue mum jeans. These are also from Stradivarius. Just got some little black sandals on. They're like Doc Martin jeans. They were just from ASOS. My little bag is from the Couples. My dog is from my heart. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about styling it like this. So please let me know in the comments down below how would you style this bodysuit. I don't know if the jeans are too casual. Hmm, let me know. I like to call this look, you could have ironed it. Because this really, really needs an iron. Like it looks awful without being ironed. But it fits really nicely. The bottom material, it kind of changes. So hang on, let me reveal my secrets. The satin only goes to here. And this material is really soft. Here's a little close up of the, um, the braiding. And I think with my newly found love for pale skin, this is a really nice colour to go with it. And then the last thing I've got is actually a dress. I think this is really lovely. This Dalmatian print dress. I might wear this on my birthday. I'm having a birthday barbecue. My birthday is the 13th of August and I'm having all my family round so I'm really looking forward to that. And I just think this would be a nice dress for it. Like it's got cap sleeves open at the back which I didn't realise but I'll probably just put like a vest top on underneath or something because I'm not really the type to go braless. Someone's got bored of me filming these clips. <laughs> this is what the dress looks like. I've just tried to take a picture of this and I feel like the camera really isn't doing it justice at all. In person it looks really nice and really like petite and dainty. On the camera I feel like it looks really boxy and just, I don't know, it doesn't look the same on camera, but trust me, this dress is actually really lovely. So if you do buy it, don't be fooled by how it looks in the camera right now. But I have, I mean, I haven't made an effort with this one, not gonna lie, I'm kind of past it now, I'm so hot. But I've got a pair of sandals on and guess where these bad boys are from? Crocs. Yes, I have reached that stage of life where I buy actual croc sandals. I... And my 70. Anyway, yeah, I really like the dress. It's cute. And all of that, 50 squid. It did take a while to arrive, though, I'm not gonna lie. I think it was like two and a half weeks it took to arrive. Maybe two weeks? Not sure. And I also don't know if I can return this stuff. So I didn't want to go too mad. And I only picked stuff that I really thought would fit. Like I didn't take any chances just because Misguided are having such a big sale. And I've heard people are having a nightmare with the refund side of it. But I think my options here are pretty safe. Look at this dog. She literally lives the dream. I wish I had her life. Because you don't have a worry in the world. Oh, you want a tummy rub? It's so warm today. I think she's trying to cool herself down. Bless her. Oh, what a big stretch. She had a groom this week. And she she is so soft and fluffy and clean. You are a lovely girl, Sunny. She had her teeth cleaned as well. Hilarious. Didn't even know that was a thing with dogs, but yeah, apparently it is. What a fluffy little wholesome girl. Look at that tummy. You know me, I love an Amazon purchase. And I heard from my mum's friend that after you've had COVID, you should take vitamin D. So I got these on Amazon. They're chewable tablets and they taste really nice. Gonna sneeze again. <laughs> summer berry flavor and they're tiny as well so i've been having one of these every day and then next saturday like i've mentioned i've got my cousin's wedding and i've had a look at the location it's in quindon in essex and in quindon next saturday it's supposed to be 31 degrees so i ordered some oil absorbing sheets because i'm having my makeup done that morning and i know it's going to be a hot and sweaty day so i thought i could just keep these in my little bag i'm gonna test it out I'm not actually that sweaty right now, but let's see. I bet loads comes off. Look at that. That's a bit gross. Sorry for showing you that. Look at that Simpson sky. Beautiful day it is. Tis me after a long day of editing this vlog because guess who left it until the last minute? Again, guilty as charged. Anyway, my loves, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below. What's the best thing that happened to you this week? Has anything exciting happened while I've been away? Anyone had a baby? Anyone discovered a new flavour of crisps? I want to know it all. Do subscribe to see my future videos. Your gal is back and I'm ready to rumble. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday and I will see you again very soon next Sunday with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.